Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Unni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on UPSC Engineering Service Examination, Solution and Discussion on the Preliminary Questions in the subject Thermodynamics. The topic for this lecture is First Law of Thermodynamics. There are few questions in the first law of thermodynamics. We take the questions and uh, we solve and discuss the solution. The first question, in a cyclic process, the heat transfer are 30 joules, minus 50 joules, minus 10 joules and 60 joules. The net to work for the cycle, cyclic process is, there are four options given, 30 Newton meter, 40 Newton meter, 50 Newton meter and 60 Newton meter. The answer to the question, the net heat transfer for the cyclic process Q equal to 30 minus 50 minus 10 plus 60 equal to 30 joules. From the first law of thermodynamics, net to work transfer equal to net to heat transfer in a cyclic process. So, the net to work transfer is 30 joules. The answer is 30 joules. The next question, a system executes a cyclic process during which there are two processes as given below. Q12 equal to 460 kilojoules, Q21 equal to minus 100 kilojoules, W12 equal to 210 kilojoules. What will be the work interaction in the process W21? There are four options given, 100 kilojoules, minus 210 kilojoules, 150 kilojoules and minus 150 kilojoules. The answer to the question, in a cyclic process, net to heat transfer equal to net to work transfer. Writing the equation for the two processes, Q12 plus Q21 equal to W12 plus W21. Substitute numerical values, 460 minus 100 equal to 210 plus W21. So, solving W21 equal to 150 kilojoules. The answer is 150 kilojoules. The next question, when a system is taken from a state x to y, 30 kilojoules of heat flows into the system and the system does 10 kilojoules of work. When the system is returned from y to x along another path, work done at the system is 8 kilojoules. What is the amount of heat liberated or absorbed during the process y? There are four answers given. 12 kilojoules of heat liberated, 28 kilojoules of heat liberated, 12 kilojoules of heat absorbed and 28 kilojoules of heat absorbed. The answer is 28 kilojoules of heat liberated, that is heat rejected. We will see how in the next slide. So, for process X, Qx equal to 30 kilojoules, Wx equal to 10 kilojoules. For process Y, Wy equal to minus 8 kilojoules. From first law of thermodynamics, net to heat transfer equal to net to work transfer. So, Qx plus Qy equal to Wx plus Wy. So, substituting 30 plus Qy equal to 10 minus 8 equal to 2. So, the heat transfer during this process, Y, Qy equal to rearranging the terms minus 28 kilojoules. That means, 28 kilojoules of heat is liberated during the process. The next question. The value of heat transfer and work transfer for a process of, ther of a thermodynamic cycle are given below. There are four processes 1, 2, 3, 4. The heat transfer are 300, 0, minus 100, 0 and work transfer are 300, 250, minus 100, minus 250. The thermal efficiency of the cycle and the work ratio will be respectively 33 percent and 0 0.66, 66 percent, 0 0.36, 36 percent, 0 0.66, and 33 percent and 0 0.36. The answer to the question is 66 percent and 0 0.36. So, efficiency is 66 percent and work ratio is 0 0.36. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, for the thermodynamic process, net to heat transfer equal to net to work transfer. Substituting 300 minus 10 equal to 300 plus 250 minus 100 minus 250. So, 200 equal to 200, left hand side, right hand side values are equal. So, the condition is satisfied, this is the possible cycle. Thermal efficiency of the cycle, 
eta equal to net work transfer divided by heat supplied. So, 200 divided by 300 equal to 0 0.66 that is 66 percent. Work ratio wr equal to net to work done divided by work done by the cycle. So, net to work output divided by work done by the cycle. So, the 200 divided by 550 equal to 0 0.36. Next question, during a charging of a storage battery, the current is 20 ampere and the voltage is 12.8. The rate of heat transfer from the battery is 10 watts. At what rate the th internal energy increasing? There are four options, minus 256 kilojoules, plus 246 kilojoules, plus 256 kilojoules, minus 246 kilojoules. The answer to the problem from the first law of thermodynamics, Q equal to W plus delta U. The change in internal energy, so rearrange the terms, delta U equal to Q minus W, so minus 10. So, the heat is rejected, heat is transferred from the battery, so it is minus 10 plus the work input the from the battery, it is 20 into 12.8 in watts. So, the answer is minus 10 plus 256 equal to 246 kilojoules. So, the answer to the question is 246 kilojoules. Next question. A thermodynamic cycle is composed of four processes. The heat added and the work done in each process are as follows. Q12 equal to 0, W12 equal to 50 joules done by the gas, Q23 equal to 50 joules from the gas, W23 equal to 0, Q34 equal to 0, W34 equal to 20 joules on the gas, Q41 equal to 80 joules to the gas and W41 equal to 0 the thermal efficiency of the cycle. There are four options 20.3, 37.5, 40.3 and 62.5 percentage. The answer to the question, the net to work done for all the four process W equal to 50 minus, 30, 50 minus 20 equal to 30 joules and the heat supplied. So, Q1 equal to 80 joules. So, thermal efficiency of the cycle equal to eta equal to W by Q1. So, 30 by 80 into 100 equal to 37.5 percentage. So, the answer is 37.5 percentage. The next question, a system absorbs 100 kilojoules of heat and does 60 kilojoules of work along the path 1, 2, 3. The same system does 20 kilojoules of work along the path 1, 4, 3. The heat absorbed during the path 1, 4, 3 is, there are four options given, minus 140 kilojoules minus 80 kilojoules, 80 kilojoules and 60 kilojoules. So, look at the PV diagram of the cycle. So, 1, 2, 3 is one cycle, another cycle is 1, 4, 3. So, these are all the two cycles in the PV diagram. For the cycle 1, 2, 3, so Q 1, 2, 3 equal to W 1, 2, 3 plus change in the internal energy U 3 minus U 1. So, the final point is, initial point is U 1 and final value is U 3. So, U 3 minus U 1. So, substituting 100 equal to 60 plus U 3 minus U 1. So, from the equation, the change in internal energy U 3 minus U 1 equal to 40 kilojoules. For the cycle 143, the internal energy going to be the same, change in internal energy going to be the same. So, Q 143 equal to W 143 plus U 3 minus U 1. So, Q 143 equal to 20 plus 40 equal to 60 kilojoules. The answer is 60 kilojoules. The next question, the thermal efficiency of the hypothetical cycle shown is 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So, this is the hypothetical cycle in the temperature entropy diagram. So, the read the diagram, it is a triangle of base 5 minus 1 equal to 4 and the height 700 minus 300 equal to 400. So, the net heat transfer so, area under the TS diagram, so Q1 minus Q2 equal to half BH. So, area of the triangle 1 by 2 B, base length is 5 minus 1 into height is 700 minus 300. So, the answer is 800 kilojoules. The heat rejected, so the amount of heat rejected area under the rectangle, so the bottom rectangle. So, this is 5 minus 1 into height, 5 minus 1 into 300 equal to 1200 kilojoules. So, heat supplied equal to Q1 equal to net heat transfer 800 plus 1200 equal to 2000 kilojoules. So, the thermal efficiency eta equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1 
which is 1 minus 1200 divided by 2000 equal to 0 0.4. So, the efficiency of the cycle is 0 0.4. The next question, consider the following system, an electrical heater, a gas turbine, reciprocating compressor. The steady flow energy equation can be applied to which of the above systems 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1, 2, 3 and 2 and 3. So, the answer is 1, 2, 3 that is all the devices, all the systems are eligible for the application of steady flow energy equation. We can apply to electrical heater, gas turbine and reciprocating compressor, steady flow energy equation. The next question, in a steam turbine with a steam flow rate of 1 kilojoules kilograms per second, inlet velocity of the steam is 100 meters per second. Exit velocity of the steam is 150 meters per second. Enthalpy at the inlet 2900 kilojoules per kilogram. Enthalpy at the outlet 1600 kilojoules per kilogram. The power available from the turbine will be nearly. There are four options given 1575.5 kilowatts, 1481.6 kilowatts, 1387.7 kilowatts, 1293.8 kilowatts. The answer is 1293.8 kilowatts. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the data given steam flow rate m equal to 1 kilogram per second, velocity at inlet 100 meters per second, at the outlet 150 meters per second, enthalpy at the inlet 2900 kilojoules per kilogram, enthalpy at the outlet 1600 kilojoules per kilogram, power produced by the turbine by applying the steady flow energy equation W equal to m into V1 square minus V2 square divided by 2000 plus H1 minus H2, substituting the numerical values. 100 square minus 150 square divided by 2000 plus 2900 by 1600 that equal to 1293, 1293.75 kilowatts. That is the answer to the question. The next question, in an isentropic flow through a nozzle, air flows at the rate of 600 kilograms per hour. At inlet to the nozzle, the pressure is 2 mega Pascal and the temperature is 127 degree Celsius. The exit pressure is 0.5 mega Pascal. If the initial velocity of the air is 300 meters per second, the exit velocity will be, there are four options given here, 867 meters per second, 76 meters per second, 685 meters per second, 594 meters per second. The answer is 594 meters per second. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, mass flow rate m equal to 600 kilograms per hour. Pressure P1 2 mega Pascal, P2 0 0.5 mega Pascal, temperature T1 127 degree Celsius which is 400 Kelvin, velocity V1 equal to 300 meters per second. The temperature at the outlet of the nozzle for the adiabatic flow T2 equal to T1 into P2 by P1 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma, the substitute numerical value is 400 into 0 0.5 divided by 2 to the power 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 equal to 269.18 Kelvin. The velocity at the outlet V2 equal to from the steady flow energy equation square root of V1 square plus 2000 into Cp into T2 minus T1. So, substituting numerical value is square root of 300 square plus 2000 multiplied by 1.005 Cp is 1.005 into 400 minus 269.18 equal to 593.6 meters per second. The next question, the ordinate and uh, abscissa of a diagram to depict the isobaric process of an ideal gas as a hyperbola are uh, respectively temperature entropy, internal energy volume, temperature density, enthalpy, entropy. The answer to the question, from the perfect gas equation P by rho equal to RT, for constant pressure process that is isobaric process P1 equal to P2. So, substituting in the first equation rho T equal to constant is the equation of the hyperbola. So, rho is the density, T is the temperature. The answer is temperature and density. They are the parameter in the diagram. The next question, during a constant pressure expansion of gas, 33.3 percentage of heat is converted into work while the temperature rises by 20 Kelvin. The specific heat of the gas at constant pressure as a proportion of work W is 
8 percentage, 10 percentage, 12 percentage and 15 percentage. The answer to the problem, it is a constant pressure process. The temperature rises T2 minus T1 equal to 20 Kelvin. So, work done is 0 0.33 times of heat supply. So, 0 0.33 into Cp into T2 minus T1. So, Cp into 0 0.33 into 20 equal to 6.66. So, Cp by W, specific heat of the gas at constant pressure as a proportion of work, Cp by W equal to 1 divided by 6.66. This equal to 0 0.15 that is 15 percentage. The answer to the question is 15 percentage. The next question, a frictionless piston cylinder device contains 5 kg of steam at 400 kilo Pascal and 200 degrees Celsius. The heat is now transferred to the steam until the temperature reaches 250 degrees Celsius. If the piston is not attached to the shaft, its mass is constant. And by taking the values of the specific volume V1 as 0 0.53434 meter cube per kilogram and V2 as 0 0.5952 meter cube per kilogram, the work done by the steam during the process is there are four options 121.7 kilojoules, 137.5 kilojoules, 153.3 kilojoules, and 189.1 kilojoules. The answer to the problem work done equal to W into P into V, v P into V2 minus V1. So, substituting mass equal to 4 kilogram, pressure is 400 kilo Pascal and the V2 is 0 0.5952 minus 0 0.53434, the answer is 121.72. So, the option A is the correct answer, 121.7 kilojoules. The next question, a closed gaseous system undergoes a reversible constant pressure process at a 2 bar in which 100 kilojoules of heat is rejected and the volume changes from 0.2 meter cube to 0.1 meter cube. The change in internal energy of the system. There are four options given minus 100 kilojoules, minus 80 kilojoules, minus 60 kilojoules and minus 40 kilojoules. The answer to the problem, constant pressure process. So, pressure P, P equal to 2 bar, 200 kilo Pascal, Q heat transfer equal to minus 100 kilojoules, volume V1 equal to 0 0.2 meter cube. V2 equal to 0 0.1 meter cube. From the first law of thermodynamics, Q equal to W plus delta U. So, W equal to V2, P into V2 minus V1 plus delta U. So, delta U equal to Q minus P into V2 minus V1. So, the heat is rejected. So, minus 100 minus P 200 into 0.1 minus 0.2 equal to minus 80 kilojoules. 80, minus 80 kilojoules is the answer. Next question, a cylinder contains 10 meter cube of ideal gas at a pressure of 2 bar. The gas is compressed in a reversible isothermal process till its pressure increases to 15 bar. What will be the quantum of work will be required for this process? There are four answers, 450 kilojoules, 4030 kilojoules, 450 kilojoules and 403 kilojoules. The answer is 4030 kilojoules. We will see how in the next slide. So, it is isothermal process, initial volume V1 equal to 10 meter cube, initial pressure is 2 bar, 200 kilo Pascal, final pressure is 15 bar, 1500 kilo Pascal. Work done during the isothermal process, W equal to P1 V1 into logarithmic of P1 by P2. So, 200 into 10 into logarithmic of 200 by 1500 equal to minus of 4029.8. So, it is compression process. Work is done on the system. Consider the following statements for isothermal process. Change in internal energy is 0, heat transfer is 0. Which of the above statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2, neither 1 nor, neither one nor 2. So, for constant isothermal process, there is no change in the temperature. So, when there is no change in the temperature, change in internal energy is equal to 0 but there is heat transfer. So, there is only one is the correct statement. There is no change in internal energy. Change in internal energy is 0, but the heat transfer is not equal to 0. There is heat transfer during the isothermal process, but the temperature remains constant. Next problem, 
A 2 kg of steam occupying 0.3 meter cube at the 15 bar is expanded according to the law PV to the power 1.3 equal to constant to a pressure of 1.5 bar. The work done during the expansion will be there are four options 602.9 kilojoules, 606.7 kilojoules, 612.5 kilojoules, 618.3 kilojoules. The answer is 618.3 kilojoules. We will see how in the next slide. The final volume from the data given V2 equal to V1 into P1 by P2 to the power 1 by 1 1.3. It is 0 0.3 into 15 divided by 1.5 to, to the power 1 by 1 1.3 equal to 1.763 meter cube. For the adiabatic process, the work done W equal to P1 U1 minus P2 V2 divided by 1.3 minus 1, gamma minus 1, 1.3 minus 1, substituting 1500 into 0 0.3 minus 150 into 1.763 divided by 1.3 minus 1 equal to 618.3 kilojoules. The answer is 618.3 kilojoules. The next question, a piston cylinder device with the air at an initial temperature of 30 degree Celsius undergoes an expansive process for which the pressure and volume are related as given below. The work done by the system for n equal to 1.4 will be, there are four options, 4.8 kilojoules, 6.8 kilojoules, 8.4 kilojoules and 10.6 kilojoules. The parameter variation, pressure is recorded as 100 kilopascal, 37.9 kilopascal, 14.4 kilopascal. Volume recorded as 0 0.1 meter cube, 0 0.2 meter cube and 0 0.4 meter cube. So, initial pressure is 100 kilopascal, initial volume is 0 0.1 meter cube, final pressure is 14.4 kilopascal and the volume is 0 0.4 meter cube. The answer to the question, work done during the expansion process. W equal to P1 V1 minus P2 V2 divided by 1.4 minus 1. Substitute in numerical values 100 into 0 0.1 minus 14.4 into 0 0.4 divided by 1.4 minus 1 equal to 10.6 kilojoules. The answer is 10.6 kilojoules. Next question, an ideal gas is flowing through an, through an insulated pipe at a rate of 3 kilograms per second. There is a 10 percent pressure drop from the inlet to the exit of the pipe. The value of R equal to gas constant R equal to 0 0.287 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and TO equal to 300 Kelvin. The rate of energy loss for a pressure drop due to friction will be nearly 34 kilowatts, 30 kilowatts, 26 kilowatts and 20 kilowatts. The answer to the problem is 26 kilowatts. We will see how in the next slide. The pressure drop is P1 minus P2 equal to 0 0.1 P that is 10 percentage. So, density of the gas P1 by R into TO, the energy loss due to the friction E equal to delta P by rho which is RTO divided by P. So, rho equal to P1 by RTO. So, RTO by P into 0 0.1 P1. So, P1 P1 getting cancelled substituting 287 R equal to 287 TO equal to 300 and 0 0.1 it is 8.61 kilojoules per kilogram. So, the total energy loss, so the mass equal to 3 kilogram, 3 into 8.61 equal to 25.83 kilojoules. That is the answer to the question. The next question, which of the following statements are correct for the throttling process? It is an adiabatic steady flow process. The enthalpy before and after throttling is the same. In the process due to fall in pressure, the velocity, the fluid velocity is always more than the inlet velocity. Which are all the statement, correct statement? 1 and 2 are correct. 1 and 3, 2 and 3 and 1, 2, 3. The answer is 1 and 2. Next question, there are two statements here. First law of thermodynamics analysis the problem quantitatively, whereas second law of thermodynamics analyze the problem qualitatively. Statement 2, throttling process is reversible process. So, the four options are given. The option 1, both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true and the statement 2 is the correct explanation for the statement 1. Second option, both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true, but the statement 2 is not correct explanation for statement 1. Third option, statement 1 is true, but statement 2 is false. Fourth option, statement 1 is false and but statement 2 is true. The correct answer is statement 1 is true, but the statement 2 is false. Throttling process is not reversible process. 
and the statement 1, first law of thermodynamics analyze the problem quantitatively, whereas second law of thermodynamics analyze the problem qualitatively. So, statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is not correct, it is false. So, we stop here. These are all the books I have published in the mechanical engineering subject. You can refer to the book for additional information, additional knowledge and I upload the video lectures of all the subject in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture in the engineering service examination preliminary questions. Until then, bye-bye.